Calculating formal masses is an important skill, but not very difficult using at least the at atomic masses on the periodic table. Now, the three formula masses we're interested in when we start doing mass mole conversions are, of course, atomic masses, which are very simple. For instance, if I'm looking at carbon atoms, I simply look at the periodic table and notice that the atomic mass is 12.01 atomic mass units. I'll simply look up the mass of individual atoms. Uh, but there are also molecular masses for molecular compounds such as CO2. And of course, a molecule, two or more atoms covalently bonded, has a mass that is determined by all of the atoms within the molecule. Now, CO2 has three atoms in it. One atom is carbon. And of course, if you look at the periodic table, the mass of a carbon atom is 12 atomic mass units. So a CO2 molecule would be at least 12 atomic mass units. But oxygen atoms are, in fact, bigger. And there are two of them in the molecule. And since each oxygen atom is 16 atomic mass units, it means that 12 parts of CO2 are carbon, and 32 parts are oxygen. And that gives you a grand and glorious total of 44 atomic mass units of mass for a carbon dioxide molecule. This would be a molecular mass expressed in atomic mass units. However, not all compounds are molecular. We know, of course, that some compounds are ionic, such as sodium carbonate. Now, ionic compounds, we can express the mass of what's called a formula unit. Uh, this would be called a molecular formula for CO2. But since this isn't a molecule, we can't call this empirical ratio of ions here a molecular formula. We simply would call it, for an ionic compound, a formula unit. And yes, we can find the formula mass formula mass for sodium carbonate by doing the same thing we do for a molecular mass of a molecular substance. Namely, calculate how many and which types of atoms are, and multiply each by the mass of that particular atom. So for instance, in the case of sodium carbonate, sodium comprises two atoms of the formula unit. And since sodium has an atomic mass of 23.0 atomic mass units, it means sodium makes up 46 atomic mass units of the formula's mass. Carbon, of course, has only a single atom in the formula. With its atomic mass of 12, it makes up 12 parts of the formula mass. And finally, oxygen, for which there are three atoms in the formula unit, and each of those atoms is 16 atomic mass units, oxygen would comprise 48 of the mass units of this ionic formula mass. And if you add those all together, you get 106 atomic mass units as the formula mass of this ionic compound. So yes, calculating formal formula masses is very simple. All you need to do is account for how many atoms and the various masses of the individual atoms. And we do it for individual atoms, atomic mass. We do it for compounds, and some of those compounds are molecules, in which case we call the combined mass a molecular mass. And some of those compounds are ionic, in which case we call the combined mass the formula mass. So calculating formula masses is fairly simple, and we'll need these when we start doing more involved mass mole conversions.